All right, everybody. Today we are talking about how to get more done in our limited time. So if you're like me as an entrepreneur, I don't remember the last time my to-do list was empty. There's always something else that needs to be done. And sometimes I, I have this notion where I'm a little bit jealous of people who work a nine to five job and when they hit five o'clock and they go home, they're done and they can mentally check out. Because owning my own business and building my own business, I never truly get that check out moment. There's always more that can be done. And if I'm not working on that to-do list, I'm still thinking about how can I make this better? Where am I going and moving forward? So, so how can we get more things done in our limited time so that uh, maybe, hopefully, one of these days, we'll get that to-do list completely crossed off. All right, so it comes down to four Ds. We're gonna go through each D. Number one, delay. And that's probably not the one you expected, but delay. There are many things that we end up putting on our list that don't need done right away. And a speaker that I heard at the Leadership Summit last year talked about how procrastination can be a very good thing. Some things should be procrastinated, right? They shouldn't be done right away. So if you're looking at your to-do list and you're trying to figure out what are the most important things to get done, then you should be able to figure out some things that really don't need done right away. Maybe they're important, but they're not urgent and they're not gonna have a drastic impact right now. So those things can be delayed, put aside till you have time. So that's the first one, delay, which I think for me, when I first heard that idea, it gave me kind of a sense of peace with doing that. I always felt a little bit of guilt by procrastinating on some things or pushing some things aside. So it's good to be intentional about that and be able to decide which things aren't urgent and won't make a big impact right away. All right, so after you have decided what things you can delay and do at a later date, the next one is delegate. So there are many, many things um, that we can give to somebody else, delegate to somebody else. They'll be able to do it just as well as us oftentimes better than us. So I've been finishing the book, Who Not How, and I highly recommend it. I'm gonna have a, a, another episode shortly where I review the book and talk about some things that are in it. But definitely it recommends that you delegate more parts of your business to other people. Get other people involved in your business. And I've talked about this many times, um, especially related to my assistant, once I hired her, the business, my business was able to take off and it freed a lot of mental clarity, mental space for me because she is really gifted in the things that I'm not gifted in. So when she does those tasks, she is working within her strengths and those tasks that weren't my strengths and took me uh, a lot of time and a lot of mental energy to force myself to do them. Suddenly, now that she's doing them, I'm able to focus on the things I'm good at or things in my strengths. So even recently, I went through the different activities that I have to do in week in and week out and tried to pick out which ones I could delegate to somebody else and then who that would be, which is always a good process to do. So figure out what tasks you can delegate all right, number three, number three, delete. I'm sure there are some things on that list that maybe you thought needed done, but in reality, they don't need done. And that could be something that might be on the delay list for six months and there still haven't been any consequences and you still don't think there would be really a big impact on your business if you got it done. That's probably a sign that it's time to delete it. And there's a lot of freedom that comes from that when you get to just say, that's not important. It's not necessary. 
we're moving on. So, so many times I know for me, I want to do it just right. I want to structure the business perfectly. And I have this, this uh, idea that everything needs to be done just the way I envision it. And I constantly try to remind myself that progress is better than perfection, right? We're gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna do the best we can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And a lot of those real little details really aren't even necessary or don't make an impact. So, all right. So we've decided what things on our to-do list we can delay, push off till they are urgent or important. We've decided which things we can delegate, give to somebody else, we'll let them do well. We've decided which things we can delete, we just don't need done. And then the fourth D, once we've taken care of all those things off the list, anything that is left on that list, the fourth D is do. So that's exactly what we need to do. And those things should be in within our skills and within our strengths, a lot of times they should be the uh, more creative problems to solve. So if it's a simple skill uh, that needs to be known to cross off a task, then those things are usually easier to delegate. If it's a problem to solve, then a lot of times that has to be us as the owner or entrepreneur. So once you get to the do stage, sometimes that means you need to learn a new skill. Sometimes that means you need to talk to somebody who has already done that if you don't know how to do that task. And so a lot of, I really think a key to doing it is not only being within your skill or your strengths, but it also means leveraging your network and learning new things. So I hope that helps you get more done. Um, definitely look at your to-do list moving forward, figure out what you can delay, delegate, delete, and finally focus on doing what's left. Get things done. All right. Have a good week.